welcome back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do face detection using media pipe in native android application so firstly i will show you guys the output for this so here is my output for android so i have one button and i have one image view as well so once i click on that button it opens the image picker you can select an image uh, which has a person's face in it so i will just select one image and here you can see i am uh, drawing a bounding box around uh, the face and here i am also showing the confidence level of uh, whether uh, this is an actual face or not so i'll select another image as well uh, just to be uh, yeah so here you can see and this is the third so yeah that's what we will be doing in today's video so first what you will have to do you will have to go to this uh, media pipe face detector android documentation and uh, you will have to go to this uh, models model section and go to the model section just click on this hyperlink then it will redirect you uh, to where you will have to download this uh, particular model so just download this model because we will be using this model uh, there are some other models as well but uh, i'm not sure how to download it i think uh, they haven't given a hyperlink for it i don't know why maybe it is still work in progress so i have just downloaded this model uh, once you download it so here you can see i have created an android project uh, uh, i'm using still xml uh, but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well next just right click new uh, folder assets folder and click on finish i have already created it next inside the assets folder you will have to drag and drop your tf light model which we have just downloaded uh, once uh, that is done if you see uh, my build.gradle.kts here i have added this uh, media pipe dependency uh, as well as coil dependency coil is used for loading image inside an image view and uh, media pipe for uh, helping us with the face detection uh, next if you go to, uh, just click on sync now next if you go to activity underscore main here you can see i have just taken one button as well as i have taken one image view and if you see the image view occupies the entire width and height how whatever is the height and width of your image view same should be the height and width of your overlay view as well now i will show you where this overlay view is coming from uh, but uh, yeah but whatever is the width and height so i am occupying the entire width and height of our screen so for the overlay view as well i am occupying the entire width and height and if you see uh, the constraint top for my image view is at the uh, bottom of our button and similarly for over here as well now if you want this overlay view i have literally copy pasted this overlay view from the documentation and even i am not 100 percent sure uh, what it does but basically what it does is that it draws a bounding box around the face and with a confidence level now if you want to uh, want the document if you want to copy paste the code uh, so he what you can do is you can go over here and you can just uh, open this file overlayview.kt and copy paste the code so i'll just scroll through this slowly so if you want you can just copy paste it uh, but yeah sorry even i don't understand uh, the entire thing of it it's basically like taking a canvas drawing a bounding box and drawing the confidence as well okay so i'll slowly scroll through this So yeah, that's it. Okay. Now uh, what you have to do is you will have to go to activity underscore main and for this overlay view. So this will differ according to your package name. So what you can do is you can just type something like overlay view and it will automatically do the intelligence for you so yeah uh, just add this to your activity underscore main now inside our main activity uh, what i am doing i have created a variable for our overlay view our button as well as our image view then this is our model name so whatever is your model name just add it over here uh, we don't need this then i have created this base options builder so i'm just calling base options builder dot builder and setting the model asset path then i am creating our options builder so what I'm doing is that I'm calling phase detector 
dot face detector options dot builder and setting the base options and the minimum confidence uh, which i want is 0 0.5 for a particular face if it is less than that then don't show the bonding box okay and set the running mode for an image then i have created our options builder dot build i have created our face detector as well uh, next uh, i have created this method so that we can i will come back to this get content later on but i have created a helper method which will help us to scale down our bitmap so in case the bitmap is very large uh, uh, there could be an exception of out of memory so for that uh, we are using the scale bitmap so that our bitmap can be scaled down and here i have initialized our face detector inside on create and here we are initializing our overview overlay view uh, button as well as an image view and on uh, button click listener i have just added get content dot launch array of image slash star so this is the mime type so it will only uh, show uh, images once the picker is opened now if we go back over here so this is the get content here i am calling open document which will give us an uri then uh, we are uh, switching back to the io coroutine and from the uri uh, what i am basically doing is i am generating a bitmap then i am uh, converting it to arg uh, four times eight uh, model uh, which is required and once we get that particular bitmap we are converting it to an mp image and here you can see i am scaling down our bitmap as well then i am passing that mp image to our face detector uh, detect method okay we also don't need this then we are calling overlay view dot set results we are passing our uh, result uh, as well as the mp images height and width as well and we are also on the main thread i'm loading our bitmap inside our image view so yeah that's it uh, that's how you do phase detection on android uh, thank you for watching bye